<laughs> okay, now uh, starting off, uh, you can use either Photoshop or GIMP. GIMP is free and it's pretty much Photoshop without all the fancy stuff that professionals use. And we're not going to be doing anything professional here. So if you want to use GIMP, just go ahead. Um, first, we're going to be doing the painstakingly ridiculously long task of uh, editing the sprites first. Things first. I'm going to have to make all these sprites in the same, um, like, the canvas has to be the same size for all of them. So it could be easier to manipulate them so they won't change sizes and stuff and shift around whenever I do, uh, whenever the animation starts to start. So, it doesn't really matter how big the canvas size is, as long as they're all the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make them all 2x2. Two two. Then just save that and then get back to that later. And I'll do this for all of these. And after all this is done, I could go on to actually like putting mouths on them or like taking body parts off and putting them somewhere else, moving the head, something like that. Okay, now I'm still editing mouths. I still, I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of like sprites to edit, so I'll just continue to edit the sprites right now, and I'll try to talk as I'm doing it. Hopefully, it won't slow me down. But what I like to do usually is I just have like a like like two positions with them talking one with them down and one with them up so it'll look like they're going down and up while they're talking so they won't just be standing there moving their mouths and it'll be like then it won't look as good because then it just kind of look like they're just standing there just flapping away and it is kind of funnier that way when they move up and down so this one's done and I think I messed up Okay, now I'm going to edit this mushroom. And... This is good, but I'm going to make it... For the purpose of my video, I just got to do some stuff. So... I have... In order for me to do what I want to do... I have to take this... Cut it right here right here back on so I'm gonna move this up a little bit Okay, I use Sony Vegas for the animation. So the first thing you want to do is just start a whole new thing. And then you go up here, you click on that top, this icon up here, and then you put in all the files that you want to use. So for the sake of this video, I'll just put in all these files and I'll just hopefully know what to use. And now I place a background in the one that I want. this in now it's on the movie track and I go on the pan um, the event pan and crop button right here that square I click on this tab right here and I go to widescreen TV aspect at ratio so then it looks like that and now I get a character and I put it into another track above this one so it's in there and I want to make it a certain size so I just put it I do the um, the widescreen aspect ratio so it could be the same um, in the same ratio as the background and then I change the size to a reasonable size that seems pretty reasonable and what I want to do is I want to keep that shape so the characters won't more fall around since I got that 2x2 two two, uh, canvas I'm gonna name this one. Oops. I'm 
gonna name this one Elat, so I know that this character is gonna have this ratio. I click the save button. And now it should be in there. Yeah, it's right here. I did that some other time. So we got one character on there now. Now we're gonna get another character on. I'm gonna insert another video track in there. I'll take these two. I'll put them on there. And so it could be the same size, so it could be like proportionate to the character. I'll click on this. And there you go. As you can see up here, the mushroom is the same proportion as the character, so the mushroom won't be too big or too small. And I place them over here. And now that the mushroom is a good size, I'll just have a, uh, a name and placing for this mushroom right here so it can stay in the same spot. See how this one is not the same size as that one right now? I'm going to fix that. So this is a completely different picture from what the first mushroom is. And I'm just going to go into the tab and click on the new one that I just made for the mushroom. Click on that. As you can see, it moved over here. But it's a little up. That's because of the animation that it had. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. I'm going to call this one Mush 2 because it's a, it's a different set. And now, as you can see, the mushroom's not really going to move anywhere except for moving to a different animation set because of the, um, the, uh, the Mush 2 and the Mush 1 position that I have saved. So it's still in the same area and it's still the same proportion. All right. Now I'm going to set these pictures to be shorter time so the mushroom can move faster. And that's just way too slow. So there, and there. I'm going to take these two. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste them so the animation can repeat. And now I'm going to play it, and as you can see, the mushroom is moving now. This is the basic that you do. This, this is the basic that I do with uh, Sony Vegas. So, I'll just keep doing this, and then you'll see how it all turns out later. Okay, now, once you're done doing everything, doing all the editing, you want to go up to File, if you're using Sony Vegas, and you go to Render As. If you go to Save As or Save, you'll just save the actual Sony Vegas file, which you can only play in Sony Vegas, and it'll look like this. So, you go to Render As, and then you render it as whatever, um, whatever file you want, and then you press save and it'll convert it. Hi, my name is Joanne and I have mannequinism.